Pelicosaurs, beginning with Archaeothyrus and the late Carboniferous, possessed a number of primitive skull traits. Although they are considered synapsids and thus mammal-like reptiles, many of their skull features were far more typical of reptiles than they are of mammals. This included the retention of all of the skull bones present in labyrinthodont amphibians, the lack of a secondary palate, which would separate the oral and nasal cavities, uh, a reptilian brain size, and an opening for, quote, a third eye, the pineal foramen at the top of the skull. These are all primitive features. These synapsid reptiles are referred to as synapsid because they possess mammal-like features, uh, features which the ancestral reptiles lacked, but which modern mammals possess. These include the synapsid op opening of the skull, the space for jaw muscles in the temporal region. In addition, the occipital region of the skull had a greater slope and had solidified. They possessed a differentiation of different tooth types, including the development of the first canines. There were a number of changes in the lower jaw, including the attachment for larger jaw muscles. These are traits which began to modify this reptilian skull to make it more mammalian.